David Beckham may have had one of the worst days of his life on June 30, 1998, but he and Victoria were secretly celebrating just hours before. His moment of madness and infamous red card during the England v Argentina World Cup match saw him kick Diego Shimmy on and he was branded the nation's villain. The following month's worth of abuse sent David into a spiral of depression, but his personal life was buoyed with the news that he and Victoria were expecting their first child. As reported by The Mirror, the night before that fateful match, his then 24-year-old fiancé Victoria Adams called to deliver the happy news to David, then 23. Victoria recounted the moment in their new Netflix show titled Beckham. I told David the night before the game, she said. He was so, so happy, we both were and there was never any doubt in my mind that I should tell him. I mean, it was what we wanted and he could not have been happier. After David was issued a red card and was the target of deafening boosts, his parents comforted him and it gave the football player a chance to share the happy news. The roller coaster of emotions at the time probably led to a reaction David wasn't expecting for the grandfather to be. On the Netflix show, his dad Ted revealed he said, Oh blimey, you couldn't have picked a worse time. While his father was of course delighted by the news, he also understood it was going to be a difficult time. David and Victoria both spoke candidly about the abuse they suffered after his red card in the four-part docu-series. Victoria admitted she's not yet forgiven the people who bullied her husband. She told the camera, I mean, the absolute hate, the public bullying, to another level. He was depressed, absolutely clinically depressed. I still want to kill these people. David added, what I went through was so extreme. The whole country hated me. Hated me. It changed my life. I felt very vulnerable and alone. Wherever I went I got abuse every single day. People look at you in a certain way, spit at you, abuse you, come up to your face and say some of the things that they said. That was difficult. Sign up to our showbiz newsletter.